Nityanandam, this is my second video on why I follow Nityananda. Let me introduce myself once again. My name is Ma Nitya Dugananda. I reside in Singapore and currently I'm working as a spiritual entrepreneur, providing spiritual coaching, counseling, and also healing for people who are suffering from psychosomatic disorder and physical chronic diseases. What I do is I combine the Vedic psychology into the science of yoga and science of healing. That is my gift to the world. Now before I was doing what I'm doing now, I was a marketing professional for 18 years. And you should know that as a marketeer, my job is to create desire, demand, to fill the whole consumerism, which drive people into this buying, wanting mentality. And you should know that before I met Swamiji, I had already started to work on my spiritual path as a yoga teacher. But after having Swamiji come into my life and imbibing his teaching, I started to feel this internal conflict. On one hand, I'm creating more and more desire in people. On the other hand, I learned the whole yamas of aparigraha, living with minimum things. So, after I was initiated by Swamiji as a disciple in January 2007, I knew my days in the corporate life were numbers because I could not work for another boss. So much suffocation and feeling this suppression of my intelligence. But I was not ready to take the jump because too much was at stake. And also, tremendous fear of the unknown of my future. Anyway, after two and a half years of constant inspiration by Swamiji and his teaching, and whenever I sat with him during that period, he will constantly remind me to follow my heart rather than here. So in April 2009, I decided to take the jump and I left the corporate world for good. I tell you, leaving my job to start my own business, to be my own boss, is one of the best decisions I've made by following Swamiji's advice. Because I remember he said that as his disciple, we should all be our own boss. Never work for another person because you will only be fulfilling their dreams, not your dreams. And he said that, I have awakened enough energy and intelligence in you. Don't spend all your energy and intelligence by working for someone, by fulfilling someone else's dreams instead of your own dream. So that was really hit home in my inner space. And there's also another truth which he gave in the satsang. He said, do what you love. Free up all your energy to do what you love. Because by freeing up energy and aligning whole your body, your time, energy and effort and your life towards doing what you love, simply your whole life will be flowing towards that. And you will start to experience that whatever you're doing, you'll be celebrating what you're doing. And whatever the things that you're doing will be also celebrating you. So when both things happen, it means completion. So I must say that Swamiji brought completion 
in my life purpose in terms of sharing my gift to the entire world. Not only that, in that process is a continuous expansion of more fulfillment and more and more fulfillment. When I first started as my own boss, of course, initially I was met with a lot of obstacles, a lot of trial and errors, and which brought me into a series of failure. But I was very clear, I never was going to look back the decision I had made. I held on to my vision with will persistence, which is what Swamiji taught me. And in fact, in my inner space, there was no backup plan. There's the only plan. That means I have to make it be successful as a boss, be my own boss. So I'm so glad that after 11 years, the kind of transformation Swamiji has inspired me and given me and showered me continuously guiding me to flow with life in terms of doing what I love. In 2016, he gave me another click, which is to share with the world how to transition from corporate executive to become your own boss by sharing my very personal experiences how I basically make that transition successfully. So in 2017, I started a program called Be Your Own Boss, but which was later on uh, changed to Spiritual Entrepreneur Incubator. So that was a program I basically coach aspiring spiritual entrepreneurs. And I'm so delighted to see so many people had started to benefit from this program to align themselves towards becoming their own boss. And one of the most beautiful thing is when you start aligning yourself, you have more and more time to be able to do the mission work, what Swamji is doing, the freedom if, to decide how you want to spend your life, spend your day, that's the most beautiful thing. So much freedom, no more suppression and suffocation. So becoming my own boss allow me to pursue my spiritual expansion, be able to listen to Swamiji Saksang daily, and not only that, have the freedom to fly to Bidadi to attend in awakenings or December program. That is bliss because when you're working for another corporation, applying leave for 21 days is almost impossible. But when you become your own boss, I've seen that over the last 11 years, so much spiritual expansion happened in me because of the fact that I free up all my energy and just basically focus on what you know I love by doing what I love and sharing with the world. And so much joy and bliss happened inside me and continuous expansion and more fulfillment is also happening inside me. So in a nutshell, I want to share with you why I follow Swamiji Nityananda because he completely brought completion into my life in terms of the purpose of my existence, doing what I love and fulfilling my life purpose. So with that, I'd like to finish this video. Thank you for listening. I highly encourage every one of you to also share your experience while you follow Nityananda. So let's jump on to this. It is going to be such a wonderful, positive shift in the collective consciousness. I welcome all of you to create your own video. Thank you. Nityanandam.